back to my channel. I'm very excited about today's video because this is going to be the first video of a series of astrology videos. Now as we know, I'm a very big astrology person. It's October 12th today, so it's somewhat middle beginning of Libra season, so I decided that I would shoot this video now and then get it up. Then like next month will be Scorpio and then I think it's Sagittarius after that and then like continuously throughout the months I'm gonna keep making astrology videos so I'm very excited. Just a disclaimer at the beginning of this video, I know that a lot more people know about astrology now due to like social media accounts and stuff but I still feel the need to say that your sun sign is not your only sign, you have an entire birth chart of different signs that sort of relate to different parts of your psyche and different parts of your personality. So if I say something in this video and you're like, well, I don't do that, well then you probably just have another sign that relates to what you're doing. Feel the need to say that so that people aren't weird. So I'm here with my handy dandy cellular device with notes about Libras on it. The first thing I want to say about Libras is that they are such kind and nice people, like probably too nice. Nice to the point that it kind of scares me. Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of love and harmony. And they appreciate the beautiful and the peaceful things and they just want to be surrounded by loving vibes all the time. This tends to mean that Libras are all about being classy, they're not really fans of vulgarity. Libra is the only sign of the zodiac that is um, represented by an inanimate object, um, a material thing, which is the scales. Um, so Libras can be somewhat materialistic, but just in the sense that they um, they appreciate the pleasures in life, like beauty and art. They always like to look good. They're often very good at makeup and very creative. An example of this is one of my friends, Caitlin. She is a Libra, and I haven't asked her recently, but the last time I talked to her and asked her like what she was thinking of doing, um, she said that when she was older, she was thinking of going being a makeup artist. Um, or going into photography and she's good at photography, like Libras just have an eye for that sort of thing. On the other side of that, they are people pleasers, they like to uh, keep the balance, they're very anti-conflict, they just, they like to see everybody happy. <laughs> and sometimes they can tend to be self-sacrificial because they're trying to keep other people happy while not really worrying about themselves. Honestly, Libra is like a really complex sign to try and explain because when you explain it, it sounds like you're contradicting yourself, but um, some of their traits are honestly kind of contradictory. You're probably going to say this with like all the signs, but the number one stereotype with Libras is them being indecisive, and that's because they're indecisive. <laughs> um, what most people don't realize about Libras is that they're not just like indecisive because it's like, oh my god, two options, my brain. It's more like... Um, they don't really have a preference, or they think their preference might create conflict, so they just kind of stray away from sharing their preference. <laughs> My moon is in Libra, so I can definitely vouch for the fact that I'm very bad at making decisions, especially when I'm like emotionally invested in the outcome. Like, I really suck at it. <laughs> but like, I am aware. I know this. <laughs> Libras are not very confrontational, and they don't really like saying no to people. Libras will be the type of people to accidentally make overlapping plans and then they'll just dodge your questions and not show up because they're too afraid to say, you're not afraid, but they don't want to say no to you. They don't want to upset you. So like, if they make plans with like three different people and they turn out to be all at the same time, they would rather sit home than to have to like deal with that decision and deal with like people being upset if they can't show up. Caitlin is a Libra, and one of my other best friends, Izzy, is a Libra, so um, I have some Libras in my life. So I can say this. I think one of the reasons that Virgos and Libras get along is because Libras don't always like to take control, like they don't really have a preference, and Virgos are total control freaks, like we really like to plan things down to a T, even if we're doing it like subconsciously. This is why we tend to get, I shouldn't talk about myself, but this is why we tend to get disillusioned by things when they don't go as planned. So we kind of balance each other out because Libras are much more rational and level-headed and they can see um, different sides of things like as equal options 
but Virgos are more analytical with those options and they can make decisions about them. So it's, it's a really good balance because we can like advise each other and help each other out. Um, Libras are also known for being very flirty and they can be very flirty, but a lot of people um, think that they're flirting when they're actually not. They're just being nice and that's how they treat everyone. Um, other points I wanna note about Libra before I start talking about their compatibility is like most air signs, they are very good at um, communicating and thinking objectively, so they're really good at problem solving. So even though they like to avoid conflict, if they end up in a conflict, they're really good at ending it very quickly. But they also have um, very high standards, and this is going to play into their compatibility. I'm going to start off my compatibility talk by just saying that, well first of all, you can be compatible with anyone, but this is just what I've noticed. Um, every single Libra that I know is dating a Scorpio. Literally every single one. I, I literally looked the, I looked this up on Facebook so that I could fact check myself, but Caitlin is dating a Scorpio. My friend from camp this summer was a Libra and he was dating this Scorpio girl and they've literally been together for multiple months, if not like a year. Libras and Scorpios are compatible because they're comfortable with one another and they can understand each other. I also think they're good for each other because when Scorpios are quote unquote whipped, like when they're really into someone, like they're in love with someone, um, they like to romance them and Libras love being romanced, like they live for that shit. Then um, another sign that I think Libras are very compatible with are Leos. Libra is an air sign. Leos are a fire sign, and um, air and fire are normally compatible anyway. Quote unquote, fire needs air to burn, they kind of like build each other up. So uh, they can really help each other and be a, a reliable pair, like they can rely on one another. They're both complete charmers and flirty and they genuinely just want to have fun. It depends on the situation, but Libras are known for not being like that into commitment, but when they are committed they're super loyal. So. It can create like weird trust things. Libras and Leos work because Libras love loving and Leos love to be loved. In addition to that, Leos love spoiling their partners and Libras love to be spoiled. Um, they'd be very idealistic with one another and like maybe over time would become a little bit disillusioned but um, both Leos and Libras are very good at communicating and getting out what they need to say so I feel like anything that would come up could be resolved. So that's just a little um, synopsis of Libras in honor of Libra season. I definitely researched the sign a little more because I didn't want to misinform because like I know some Libras but like everyone's different and um, there are definitely some signs that I know uh, better than others. Yeah, um, I might at some point make a generalized astrology video just to describe like sun signs, moon signs, and all that stuff because it is super important for understanding um, your chart as a whole. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. If you are a Libra, comment below, be like Team Libra or Libra Squad or something like that. Just tell me about your sign or if you're not a Libra, tell me about your sign because this kind of stuff interests me. So please like, comment below, and subscribe. Subscribe if you want more videos like this or more videos in general and I will see you in my next video